All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy King Fragrance back with our non-verbal cues, and tonight we will be going through a tutorial to sensitize our customers as it relates to the difference between perfume oils versus perfume sprays. So we'll kick it off with uh, getting an understanding of what are fragrance oils or perfume oils. They, they are developed because of their pleasant scents and these uh, oils can be used in a variety of things including regular perfume sprays. Now what is the difference between perfume oils and a perfume spray. I would like for you to understand that the same notes and uh, chemical components which makes up the oil in regular perfume oils are the same which makes up the notes in perfume sprays. The only difference is they're in uh, larger, thicker bottles as well as these uh, go through uh, added chemical processes to make the perfume a little bit more volatile and this pretty much allows for the perfume spray to project more than the oil but in terms of the notes in terms of the scent it's pretty much the same now look at this image on the screen right here this is a Tom Ford tobacco vanilla and it's a 100 milliliter which is a typical 3.4 fluid ounce that you would purchase in the store a regular size bottle now, what's the cost for a perfume like this on Amazon? It's 300 United States dollars. That would convert to about uh, 42,000 Jamaican dollars. And if you throw a little bit of clearance in that, you'll be paying about 60,000 Jamaican dollars for the original tobacco vanilla perfume. Now, there are some individuals out there who have perfumes like the tobacco vanilla but it is not the 100% original it's not the perfume like the top quality perfume they would pay about nine thousand dollars or about or even ten thousand dollars for that perfume and that perfume would have the words EAU DE perfume for it. and there are also some cheaper ones Comfort tobacco vanilla or other perfumes which you would see having EAUDE toilette or toilette whichever way you want to pronounce it now we will be looking at what does this mean so EAU in French means water and if you look on your screen here you'll see a little bit more detail as it relates to EAU and how it relates to perfumes. Now this other image right here you'll see was taken from Wikipedia <laughs> and it's pretty well, it's very, very funny but it is it is straightforward. EAUDE toilette literally translates as toilet water or water in toilet. It further explains that it is a lightly scented cologne used as a skin freshener and the information goes on and on you guys can pause the video and uh, uh, read that let's look at this slide here the difference of all perfume types lower left hand side you have concentrated perfume oil uh, you look on the right hand side you have other blended ingredients like alcohol etc now you have perfumes which are like the EAU fresh yes that word is pronounced fresh it is only one to three percent oil based we have EAU de cologne which is EDC it is only two to six percent oil based so for those individuals that have actually had conversations with in the past and they've um, said that uh, cologne means for men no perfumes everyone wears perfumes cologne is pretty much the weaker perfume now let's look at the other one that's the third one EAU de toilette which is the one that everyone typically purchase in the store this is a type that 
a lot of persons are running around with to say that this is the original this is the one that you'd probably pay about nine thousand dollars for you know let's say for a tobacco vanilla you'd pay about uh, five or nine thousand jamaican dollars for that or you understand and this only contains about five to fifteen percent oil let's say fifteen percent now you have the eau parfum which is the p-a-r-f-u-m right and this contains a little bit more concentrated perfume oil than the others right this could actually be passed off as the original but it's not the original for this scent you probably pay about twenty thousand jamaican dollars they're about four now the real thing is the pure perfume or perfume right now you'll see just perfume on some person's bottle that is the original thing 100 percent that is the tobacco vanilla 100 milliliter perfume right there for 300 united states dollars now how does this compare to king fragrances oils now if you look on the screen you would see that this perfume has up to 40 percent concentrated perfume oil yes it does now if you should take that 40 percent concentrated perfume oil and put it by itself without the other blended ingredients you would have 100 percent uncut perfume oils and that pretty much sums up our nonverbal cues right here this is the 100 percent uncut perfume oil right here now as it relates to value this is our 12 milliliter bottle of tobacco vanilla and our bottles are uh, antique bottles just to throw that information in there you know polygon with uh, a steel roller ball and all that good stuff so as it relates to quality you are getting no less than what you would typically get in the spray bottle which is the original spray bottle not the in toilet not the EAU uh, DE in toilet or whichever we are talking about the 100% pure perfume what are some of the advantages and disadvantages uh, as it relates to our perfume oils versus the spray now let's talk about some of the disadvantage and one it's it's actually one main disadvantage that I can identify and it is the projection because as it relates to longevity the perfume oils does have the same longevity as the perfume spray right, because it's the same chemical component the perfume oils tend to be a little bit more intimate works a little bit better with your skin the notes the base notes are easily reached as in as you rub the perfume oil you will start smelling every single notes that are actually there you know but uh, as it relates to the perfume spray the alcohol tend to mask some of the notes until that alcohol content evaporates and then you start smelling the base note you know but the alcohol does serve an important role because it does allow for the perfume to be to project further yeah so you be wearing this oil and uh, you would uh the, the perfume this perfume oil would project about let's say from here to here right the spray would probably project from here from here to about here you know just for example so there you have it guys it's been king fragrance with your non-verbal cues i hope i have not missed anything and do remember that we do appreciate you guys as our, our valid customers and you are the better part of king fragrance perfumes have a beautiful one